If you're looking for the best way to feed salt and minerals to your livestock, you're in the right place. Heifer USA is here to help with an honest comparison of two methods we use on our 1200 acre working ranch. Whether you're raising a handful of sheep or a hundred head of cattle, your time is valuable and your animal's health is important. So stay tuned to find out the easiest, most efficient way to feed salt and minerals to your livestock. Hey everyone, my name is Donna Kilpatrick. I'm the ranch manager and land steward here at Heifer Ranch in Perryville, Arkansas. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our salt mineral program for our cattle. We're actually going to experiment. We're going to switch from a loose mineral to a cafeteria style mineral feeder. First, let's talk about the salt and mineral program we've been using for the past few years, including the feeders we use, the minerals we provide, and a few reasons this system might work well for your farm. So this is our current mineral feeder. We keep these feeders full and when the cows want mineral, they just come up to it. They put their head in, lift it, and they eat as much as they want. And then this flap comes down and seals it so it doesn't get wet. Uh, we're really pleased with it. We bought six of these that we keep in various places around the farm. But we built this system because we move our cows so often, we have to move the mineral with them. Three years ago, we built these sleds. So just wooden two by four treated lumber sleds that we can hook behind the gator and just pull with us when we move the cows from paddock to paddock. And they've done well, but they're starting to really break down. So you can actually see from where we've drugged this thing, how it's falling apart and the wood has actually just been worn down from dragging. In spite of the wear and tear, these feeders have served us well across multiple enterprises. They're easy to fill, easy to move, and the lids are light enough that even our sheep can lift them, making them a great multi-species tool. If you'd like to purchase this style of feeder, there's a link in the description below. But don't get too hasty. We'll be covering another style of mineral feeder later in the video that may serve your farm's needs better. So stay tuned to hear Donna's review at the end of this video. Even more important than the feeder you use are the contents it contains. What minerals are you actually feeding your animals? For the past three years, we bought Purina Wind and Rain All Season Salt and Minerals, a store-bought all-in-one package that contains calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, manganese, cobalt, copper, iodine, selenium, zinc, vitamins A, D, 3, and E. That's a lot of minerals! So we've really liked this mineral. The only thing that I wonder about is, since it's all mixed together and of relatively limited minerals, vitamins, that kind of thing, could the health of the cows be better if they were offered more and they can pick and choose what they want? This question brings us to the second method of mineral feeding we'll explore today, cafeteria style or free choice minerals. This method, practiced by leaders in regenerative agriculture like Greg Judy, entails offering multiple minerals to livestock, just like before. But rather than mixing all the minerals together in one feeder, this requires a cafeteria style feeder, which looks something like this. Each section contains one mineral that cattle need, allowing each cow to decide what minerals to eat and when to eat them. This method lets each cow tailor its nutrition to its needs based on the signals its body gives, ideally leading to healthy bodies and fast, sustainable weight gain. There's another important reason we've decided to test free choice minerals here at Heifer USA. We're working on a regenerative ranch where we've come off of mineral mining from our soil from taking hay off the land for so many years and we're switching our methods of, of ranching um, to really focus on ecosystem health. Which means we're striving to heal the land we steward by adding and protecting good materials like soil biological matter. We utilize holistic rotational grazing, so if our cattle are lacking a certain nutrient in their diet, it's because not enough of that nutrient is present in the forage in our paddocks. Let's use an example. If the forage in this paddock is low in phosphorus, then this cow isn't getting enough phosphorus in his diet. So we introduce the free choice mineral system and he eats enough phosphorus to balance out that deficiency. After he digests that mineral, the manure he deposits back into the pasture will contain all the leftover phosphorus he ate. As his manure breaks down, it deposits phosphorus back into the soil, bringing the pasture's soil back to a healthy level of phosphorus content over time. But it's not just phosphorus and it's not just this cow. If we allow every cow to consume the minerals it needs and deposit them back into the soil, we can improve the health of our animals and our pastures just by making the switch to free choice minerals. In order to fill our free choice mineral feeder, we'll need a new set of minerals, each individually bagged and labeled so we can put the right mineral in the right section. 
Luckily, the company that built our mineral feeder, called Free Choice Enterprises, also offers a bundle of 20 individually bagged minerals and mixes, including calcium, iodine, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, silicon, sodium, sulfur, copper, cobalt, boron, iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, zinc, alkaline neutralizer, acid neutralizer, vitamins A, D, and E, and vitamins C and B. That's a lot of minerals. They arrived at our ag center in big white bags, each weighing 25 pounds. Now that we've got our new feeders and new minerals, we also need new efficiencies to ensure the success of this system. So our old system, our old mineral feeder that you all saw out in the pasture, I commented that that was heavy. I could lift it up empty. There is no way that I can lift this up. So we've got to be able to move it around easily. We ask our maintenance shop to do something to help us not have to replace the wooden sleds. And they came up with a system of a metal runner and that will extend the life of the feeder for a while. At the end of the feeder is just a chain. And what we plan to do is hook that to the back of our gator and move it from pasture to pasture. There's 10 bins per side, each for a specific mineral, and then one open bin for salt. When you go out into the pasture, you can fill this and then pop the lid down. The cows can easily lift it up with their heads and get what they need. So one of the challenges as we move to a big mineral feeder like this is how can we most efficiently transport it to the pastures and then get the mineral to the pastures without spending tons and tons of time, resources, energy doing so. Luckily, Donna and the livestock team have figured out a super easy, super efficient way to utilize the free choice mineral feeder. And this is the table that we set up with all of our salt minerals, and I'd love to show you that. So if you look to the left, you'll see these bins. They're lined with the 19 vitamins and minerals that go into these containers plus salt. And we wanted to create a system where we can easily identify what we need to refill and get it back down to the pasture as efficiently as possible. What we decided to do is buy these small waterproof bags. The goal is to put the salt mineral in here, you roll it over, you close it up, and then we have a small bit of mineral to take down to the field. So I made a little card that's laminated. When we go down to the pasture, what we can do is quickly look at the salt mineral feeder and say, Oh, we're really low on salt. So we circle it. We're really low on potassium. Circle it. We need some more selenium. The cows are really going through that. Then we put this back in our gator and we come back up to the ag center and then we fill the small bags instead of taking the big bags down. Without further ado, let's fill her up. Okay, so we've got our salt mineral feeder all loaded up and ready to go. So the next step is to take it to the pasture and see how the cows like it. So after a couple of weeks of using the free choice mineral system, we learned some things. First of all, the cows seem to really like it. They're easily able to lift the heavy lid and get the minerals that they want. Right now, our observations are that they're very interested in selenium. They're very interested in boron and they're eating a lot of the phosphorus. You know, a couple years ago, we had a necropsy done on a calf. And one of the things that the vet said was that our soil must be deficient in selenium because it was showing up in that necropsy. The cows have told us by eating the selenium that what the vet said was true, that our soils are deficient in it. It's gonna take a while to get big changes. That'll happen over time. And I think we'll see that in the animal's health, but also in our soil health. Now that we've learned what we really love and really don't love about the free choice mineral system, we can see some of the pros and cons of each system. This system is certainly more affordable on the front end, but doesn't allow the cattle to tailor their diets to their needs or improve soil health over time. It's easier to move and it can be utilized for both cattle and sheep, but it will likely be worn down faster and require more investment in the long term as you continually buy bags of pre-mixed minerals. So it might seem like, you know, the pre-mixed mineral system that we were using before is, is more affordable. We don't know that to be true yet. I feel like one thing we're going to see is that over time, as our soil improves, we feed less of this. And it's one of the reasons we change to it. 
This system allows our cattle to eliminate deficiencies in their diets for healthier, more sustainable weight gain, while also improving the health of our pastures and our forage over time. We've created a highly efficient system to maintain it, but daily transportation of the heavy feeder is a challenge, even for our most powerful gator. In fact, without a heavy-duty gator, ATV, or even a tractor, this system may not be feasible. We can only use these feeders for our cattle because the lid is so heavy, but it has freed up our original mineral feeders to be used by our sheep. Purchasing these large feeders and all the minerals to fill them is a hefty cost on the front end, but as our cattle and our pastures return to normal levels of each mineral over time, we'll likely require fewer and fewer bags of minerals, ultimately balancing out the cost. So we're super excited about this system. If you're interested in farming regeneratively and you're trying to improve your pasture health as well as your animal health, I highly recommend the Free Choice system. For Heifer USA, Free Choice minerals are certainly the way to go. If you're committed to regenerating your land while improving the health of your livestock, it would likely be a great option for your farm or ranch too. Even if you don't opt for Free Choice minerals, there are lots of ways to boost the health of your land and your livestock. You could start thoroughly testing the health of your ecosystem, like we do in this video, or learn how to implement cover crops with this video. Either way, we'll see you next time.